Okay, so I'm recording this on Bonfire Night. The fireworks have only just started, so hopefully I can get this done before uh, before they start and get my dogs uh, going. So, um, yeah, I'm old now. So I guess, given the nature of the whole firework thing, let's uh, let's just go through the goals that I had last time and see how I've done. Yeah, I'm still here, it seems. Uh, turns out if it's not COVID, then it's a uh, cost of living crisis that sort of prevents stuff. I, at this point, am probably not gonna have an exception for next year of this potentially happening, because, um, God knows, we'll probably go to a nuclear war at this point. So, yeah. Achieved! I said that I need to keep myself under 14 stone, I am below 13 stone. Just. Uh, goal is just to keep it like that and sort out my entropy muscles due to, you know, lack of strength training. Ring pick's gonna kill me and, uh, well, I... I mean, I guess I could get started now, um... One? Two? Okay, yeah, mission failed on this one. Um, though, to be fair, that one's more on me. Uh, I have had occasions where I've just just stopped uploading um, due to work stress and I've only just sort of started getting back into the swing of things but it's still very patchy and such just because again it's like it's been rough it's been rough uh, it was too little too late unfortunately so my goal is to get to 3500 and if I get lucky 4000 you know we'll, we'll keep it small and go with that you know mission success actually I, I've been going for a course which I uh, I got like two years ago uh, and made free ultra simple and very poorly made games but I never said I had to make good games. I just had to make games and technically these are games. Uh, I've been a bit on and off on it because I've been jumping between like other projects I want to do but I, I mean I'm making progress and my goal is just simply improve on that. I did audition for stuff. And if you want to be super technical, I did get a part in the Close in the Distance community video for Final Fantasy XIV. Look, there I am! But beyond that, uh, no such luck, unfortunately, so um, yeah, just keep trying, I guess. So, I finally started to begin making a return into uh, the animation stuff. I've made a, a handful based on stuff I saw on Twitter and just something I did to keep the rust off so to speak um so yeah i'm just gonna keep going i did not do a whole lot this year uh mostly because of work stress and mostly because of trying to do some other projects uh, i am hoping to step it up again next year but it sort of is leaning a bit more towards i i i, I need to have like this work stress issue sorted before anything else did i mention this one i might have uh, but just to be on the safe side, uh, yes, I did, uh, I did do a review, I did Demon Stone. Um, I'm, and then I, you know, so that, that's the second one I did. I did Demon Stone, I did Viper, now I've done Demon Stone. Do I want to do more? Kinda, but I also kind of don't. It's, a, am not good at the reviewing stuff, so, or at least in that kind of stuff, and it's kind of like trying to find my style, you know? Um, I might not, though. I'm not too sure. Uh, it might be a case of a uh, if the mood takes me. So with all that, you know, I didn't get many of my goals done, but here's the thing. Here's the big thing that I got away from this. Um, and it sounds weird for me to say, but this year has been about realizations and starting to make steps towards trying to fix issues. Uh, the biggest one I realized is that I am I, I am a perfectionist. Uh, and I know it, it, it seems weird, you know, how can you not know you're a per per perfectionist? Uh, you know, it, it's kind of obvious. And, and it's one of those where it's like, it's just one of those where you sort of like think that something is normal and then you realize it isn't. You realize, you know, it's like those people that's like who suffer, you know, daily from anxiety or depression. It's like, wait, you can not be anxious, you can not be depressed. How? How is that even possible? Kind of deal. It's the same thing with being perfectionist. Like, 
I, you know, you, you don't get crippling fear, you don't get frustrated that if something doesn't go perfectly, uh, that, you know, that you feel like a failure and such. Um, and so I've realized that, I've been realizing that, and that's sort of the thing that's been holding me back a lot of, uh, with a lot of stuff I want to do. Um, like I do a drawing or an animation and uh, I sort of look at it, it's like, it's not as good as I want it to be. And then you sort of realize once you become a perfectionist, it's like, well, yeah, because it will never be perfect in your eyes. But you want it to be perfect. Um, so it, it is a, um, it's been a wake up for me and I'm, I'm slowly, slowly, very slowly uh, working my way to fix that. But this is something that has been with me for as long as I can remember. Um, so yeah, a lot of a very deep-seated habit um, that needs to be removed. It is going to take some time uh, and I hope... I'm hoping that at the end of it, I come back better out of this, you know, and I become more productive. Um, I just, I really hope that's the case. Because um, I've sort of been realizing that. I've been, I've been realizing a lot of stuff about myself. You know, I've, I've had stuff that have improved, like my, uh, my self-confidence. Still low, but it's a, uh, it, it's gone up. Uh, thanks to a friend of mine forcing me to uh, say constantly like, oh, Say five good things about yourself. And then I, I sort of realized um, that the trick with that is that you eventually run out of stuff. Like good stuff about yourself. But you keep trying to find them. So you keep running the good stuff through your brain. Because like, okay, this, no, I've done that. This, done that. This, done that. And it, and, and it elevates you up. It, it makes you more positive. Um, I have been so much happier this year than I have in a long time. I'm not saying it like I've been, you know, depressed or, you know, suffering from that kind of stuff. I, I haven't had that. I, I'm incredibly lucky in that sense. But in the past, it used to be when I got tired, I used to have a lot of negative thoughts. I don't get those anymore. I, uh, if anything, I, I get positive thoughts. Um, and so as I say, like, this, this year especially has been, um, Less about the goals and more about the realizations, and I'm hoping with those goal, those realizations, like I can work to improve them and strengthen the good ones to eventually get my goals sorted. You know, um, and I think that's a that's a really big thing about that. You know, like these goals aren't a aren't set in stone. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it if I don't get them. They're nice things to have, but I I cherish the fact that I've realize these issues and I'm working towards them. I should probably get therapy to deal with most of this, but I am a stubborn little bastard, so uh, I'm probably going to just try it with my own way until I hit a brick wall. Then I'll be like, okay, fine, let's see a therapist. Uh, don't do what I'm doing. This is stupid. D d don't. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, as I had to be real quick because it's it is freaking bonfire night, and there's fireworks, and I hate fireworks, and I got dogs, and they hate fireworks. Everybody hates fireworks except those that don't. Um, so yeah, I uh, and again, like I'm, I feel a lot happier now, despite how the world is at the moment. Uh, I feel more positive about things, and uh, I got high hopes. I, I get the feeling that I'm sort of approaching this good tipping point where I just like tip over and stuff starts going well. Stuff starts going good. Like I start, I start hitting the goals. I start improving and all that. Uh, I, I I feel like I'm approaching that. I don't know how far I am. It could be five years from now, but I feel like. As opposed to it being like nothing above me, I, I feel there's that there's that point where it'll tip over and things will go well. You know, that's that in itself is a big improvement itself. 
Um, yeah, but that is it. Uh, that is me rambling for how long? Ten minutes? I've probably cut down on a few bits. Not by much. Probably like one minute or so. Uh, but either way, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy listening to me ramble about, hey, it's my birthday and here's this stuff I didn't do. And I will catch you all uh, next time. Hey.